by no one. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Some by horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch, it's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the game changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. Outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Come on, let's 
go take a look down in the valley. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big, fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellers just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. You're good, Looks really. like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Might be our chance. So what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them up? Right, I reckon sneaking down is the best opportunity. But uh, it's your time. Yeah. Uh, I was going to fool you. Let's just start shooting. Can fool you? Run off. Yeah, they'll scatter right away. I'm going over here. Okay.
Then you want me to hold on to? Let me go! Are you with her? What's it look like? Let's go for a ride. Okay. Hey! Help! Now let's get out of here! Let's ride! 
Aye, only for a few minutes, Cozy. Aye, we're doing alright, mate, aye. But, uh, I only tried it for a few minutes. It's like, man, every time you turn the corner, there's somebody robbing you, ain't there? I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. You're too far behind. Paula's playing it in Udi on the stair. Because I'm lighting a cigarette. I'm going to say I'll do nothing. Serious? Yeah, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. <laughs> just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let life me. Up. Then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How to work ain't easy, John. No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier. Yeah, I meant right for that back then. I you you on. didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And not in Washington and his men gone. There's not far away from me. There's not in Washington then getting dead something and then getting hopped out on the road and getting robbed. It. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. But your online's there the sorry the story modes. Pretty cool, eh? I usually play it at night when everybody's in bed. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Punch him again just for good measure. Put him in the cell. I hate you. Damn you! Ah! Ah! That's your cell again there. What was that? The quickest for renaming. It focused so fast. Ah, I'll get a trial. Uh, One with the door open. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. No. Yeah, so yeah. I thought you said you. I, I just thought he's pretty well, cool. I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Lane was dead. Just got by the, we killed him. We're no longer after Bucks like died. Yeah, no it was Bucks. him that robbed yeah. him. Arthur. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Try to take my mm -hmm. time, mate. Yeah, don't want to finish on. Thing, can I? You want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town, or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be, well, Be well, John. Yeah. Oh, so you just tap up, right? Because I've been trying to move the analog stick, right? Get in that direction. Mm. Hey, got a here, here, here. Come on, lady. Mm. 
Vi får ju online KG. So, wait a lot. Uh -huh. Plays a good cowboy. I don't know what mind you that half and half can I hang? Apologies are we up there man, she's fucking she's white are we white are we up there like Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? Sure. I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? The cheapest one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you a matter yeah. of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh. Not a I'm not man, doing too bad in jail. I'm in the middle. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there. I've not got many bounties either, I've got one for 130 and I had one for $30. Easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. Um, you boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I only need to get a bus sure. out. Probably. There was a lot of baller, and that played it, and my son played it, and first thing I was, and they were spawned through the player and stuff, eh? Left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? I'm not playing it well, I'll play that, man. This skin is about, we need him. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Yeah, these skin is going to be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir? Sir? Good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir. We're ready. Good. Nice sub, lock, lock, and load. Let's go. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right then. Let's go buy us some tools. Oh, do you? Oh, give you got full honor on the game. You get, uh, you get discounts from the shops and, and unique items and all. Right? Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. Right, cause that's why Cozy's like to play a different way now. He started it again. So you get discounts and stuff at the store You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. I'm not half and half. Because every time I go save somebody, I end up shooting somebody else, man. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them behind, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Was that what they called the flat pack back then? I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe Two wagons fall away. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People I swear I started an awkward if it moved, I shot it, man. 
But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Putting people on the wee trails and that, getting two cents off them. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the red. Oh, don't just fall in here. You're an asshole. That's uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally going to meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. I sure that another fit of this long to get to that place. Guess I figure <laughs> they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. So my horse would drop me down there. No, no, it's on these wagons. You boys wait here. <laughs> After you, Mr. Milton. I don't know what's the fact you can't roll them or not. Uh, so I'll talk to Clue. Four kilos. But you can't roll them. Alright, I think it's good, mate. <laughs> Nails. Nails, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. Y'all uh, someplace uh, else. Okay. I you know. Do you the subtitles? So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. I think you get moving very bright. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right then. Beecher's hope. This bright and the tree won't that property for some time, hadn't it? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. And men. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Everyone find some cover! They were standing there watching the guy hack him up with a fucking with a machete. This dude they hitting him back or shooting him or something. Watch out for arrows! Uh, Millie, you'll be alright! 
They're coming out of the woods! Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, you stay here, guard the way. Charles, come on! I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. Shit. Oh, well, but it has you guys. You gotta move fast. Come on. Let's See what I told you to take care of, man. Yeah, Pretty much the same here, baby. Busy playing this game. Why is 
Alright, mate, mate, I'll know that's why you back here, man. Charles, you alright carrying him? I got it. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Let's get out of here. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm right here. Hi, you're all right, Sam. You're not on the PlayStation, you know. Uh, game. See him kicking about streams. Uh, Sam's. She had an accident with your PlayStation, so she's not got one in her. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. And games, dull game. Can I still see him kicking about streams? The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this. Kind of Paul, she's and doing the fair play next in this bear. This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. Uh, sorry, Paul's doing the fair play in this game. A few months back. Massacred. She's playing the online missions down the stair. Uncle! Uncle! You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Oh, what happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devil. Why are you guys be keeping all right? Oh, Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, I will. I'm it's fairly it's sure you scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, well Sam on a PS4, it's uh, when she was tidying sure. up, she knocked the PlayStation there and killed so. it. She killed the PlayStation, so... It's gonna need to wait until I get another one. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. It's a bad time of year, eh? Any other time of the year you can get away with it. I know that feeling, Betty. Well, I don't. Oh, it does. <laughs> Morning to you. Rest my fire. So it's the fires with the, the grates in it that you can craft it. Oh, you know, you can craft it. <laughs> hey, ah, uh, you can craft it, that's one, I know. But I've not got... Am I needing belts or something? Why can I not craft shit? Right, hold on. Have you got this? Have you got this, Betty? Aye, it's worth getting, aye. There's plenty of playtime on it, eh? And that's me just doing the missions. There's like these side missions all the way over the map. Some of them are in missions, but because you're trying to help people and before, before you know it, you're getting robbed. There's been, on the online one, there's been quite a lot of bugs. 
but I think mean, there's six quite a bit of them now, like. But it was pretty bad the other day, we flown through the map. Right, I need to go to your store. I need to find a store, I need to buy some bullets. Might be helpful if I put my glasses on there. <laughs> Might be able to find what I'm looking for if I put my specs on. Your birthday next Friday, is it? Congratulations when it comes. I've not been playing my PlayStation much either because it was it was making a noise like a jet engine. So I took it apart and cleaned it all out and the fan was manky on it. But uh cleaned it all out, if you know, it is a bit better, but I've actually bought myself some new thermal paste, so I'm gonna I'm going to read the chip on it again. You're a good girl now. Just come through the post this morning, so I'm going to get it done tomorrow. But, I mean, I think that's about four or five years we've had this PlayStation there. And you want to see the state of the fan, Betty, it looks like a carpet. That's how furry it was, it looked like a carpet, man. It was that, it was that bad, she, she tell me to take it apart and clean the fan in that one. And get a, get a can of compressed air and all, clean out all the vents in it. I mean, that, it got that bad, because I'm up the stairs playing it, it's at the end of the bed. Couldn't even hear the game for the noise of the fan, man. But it's a lot better than where it was. When I first cleaned it out, it got quiet. And then it kind of, I don't know, it's as if it took a couple of days to settle in again, to be quieter. I thought, to hell with that, I'm not buying a new one. Not this time of year anyway. I've stripped it down and cleaned it. Oh, you want to see the shade that came with it. The fan was the worst part, it actually looked like. Well, I've actually compressed air, so I'll just take the front and the back and the bottom and all that off it so I can get into the fan and that. Into the heat sink and do it that way. Ready for Christmas? No, Christmas is cancelled. I don't know if I'm going to tell you about it, but Santa's deep. Oh, 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 I don't know, some guy's holding my horse a piece of shit in the way, boy.
Pretty still lucky I never shot him. No, uh, Santa's dead, buddy. Save you a lot of money if you tell people that. Ain't it time for you to leave yet, or? Shut the fuck up, I'll shoot you, you know. Any arrows left? Hey, I don't see you. This wee shopkeeper better shut the fuck up, he's gonna get shot. David says he was alive and I was speaking to him now. Who was alive? Oh, Santa! <laughs> Alright, Santa was one. No, <laughs> honestly, he's dead. Don't listen to him, he's full of shit. Ain't I'm time for you to leave yet, or? I don't buy that. Right. Do I need shells for it? Yeah, we've got shells for it. Yeah, that's so deep, lovely. Hey. Tama claws, belly and beard combo on you. Fuck off. You with your fucking. What'd you call it? What fucking. You for, mankini on. Oh, you're putting me off, new man, what I'm meant to be buying here. How's you not tap my gun up? I've got what I just bought. Shotgun, one. Ah, uh, shotgun. Should just shoot his ass, you know. Keep keys that cart along again. What was that I just bought? A shotgun? Oh, one. Wow. How do you tap the cunt out again? How do you tap carrots in your ass, lad? <laughs> no, yeah, I've no, got, I've no got any up here. How do you tap your gun up again? Ain't it time for you to leave yet, or? No, I need to go to Gunsmith. I'm just in the general store. Yeah, hold on then. Go and make your shotgun look good, don't you? I will punch you in the bus. Let's go, Mark. How are you? Oh, nice Stop calling my horse a piece of shit, mate. I'll shoot you in the face. Petty said hello, Betty. Hello. For hello, she said. Right, gunsmith. Where the fuck's a gunsmith? He's miles away, ain't he? Whoa, 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 whoa. You got that one here, cowboy. I've got some food in that store. Tell you down there and you've got to go 14 miles to get it updated. Feel it? 
Oops. Don't want to pop in the sheep. Pop me or not. Must be some way to in there. Oh, easy up. I lost. <laughs> I lost in this game. Yeah, why is it trying to take me a bit back that way? I'm gonna be back that way, aren't we? As long as I've nicked all the dials, I'll be alright. <laughs> ah, it was spongy. I'm going to fucking die. I don't get a bum pot. Oh shit, look, she just kicked me off, man. Shit. Hey, right, that'll answer that question then. Your horse can't even swim that far. <laughs> I'm going to drown. Swim, half or swim. Drop, just drop. <coughs> right, maybe we're not answering that question. <laughs> a fine is burger. What is it now? It's fucked off and left me out. Anyway. There you are, Missy. Four feet like no game. <laughs> Who's the staff to do on the on the right side of the river? I think I'll try the road this time, eh? That was a bit of a failure. Aye, so do I remember that now, eh? It was all the news and everything, that. Still didn't fit me up even. This goes fine as two. You can't have that bad box out the frame sheet the more time, didn't I couldn't have felt the difference. Did I free the prisoner? Wait, need to put my out I need to free the damsel in distress.
Oh, yeah. something you find interesting. My way of saying thanks. I tell My father told me the doctor in Valentine's crooked as a dog's hind leg. Now apparently he works with the old Driscoll boys. All right. Anyway, nice. thanks again. Nice. I'm gonna get on out of here. Keep your head down. Oh, I did. Now go. Give it she she comes up to be a witness and get the shot in the face and all. Yeah. No a witness in there, are you? Two witnesses. Pull a box you can't. What happens in this game, man? Shoot one person before you know it, you're in there all day digging holes. Further into the game, and all it's you notice how they get longer, like the missions get longer, right?
Campana, first half. You need to clean your weapon. Surprised if it still fires. I could put some sats on that if you're interested. You'll appreciate the improvement. I don't do shit in there. That's a wise investment. That's great. That could really shine with some carbon in it. Like what you see? I'm a bit of a hunting enthusiast, as you may have surmised. Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. Can you fold the same? I can fold it. Oh, fuck, I use what you want to do. Damn. Oh, shit, I'll tell you, before we... I... Don't even know that short spin, and I thought as if I still had that five grand. You need me to move. Move? move. I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I forgot I've done this. Why are you just back on that game again? You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. Hi, but I thought of he had had to do this guy's wagon back. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon over back chat. They didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was mm. undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some so good old boys in my up the mountain. I might need to head back up there. I need some eyes. They undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me. I don't know how, because that's the one I use when I go up. Imagine it a bunch. Yes. But? No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way did they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. No. Oh. Man, she got.
That's not fucking messages. Uh, what was that all the time with one? So it's later than that. Were you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard them say they was taking it to Macomb's in. Okay, thanks. Okay. Watch out! You're yeah. goddamn crazy! You got a problem with me? Any problems, big man? Can't we find the guy's wagon for him? Again? I'd eat any burger. I don't care if it's made of horse. Well, apart from the horse, these ones were pretty bad, weren't they? And, and crocodile and ostrich, oh, they, were, they were fucking horrible. Like. Right, I've got a dollar twenty or something.
Just be locked in a high. Very good. <laughs> I just ran in my own horse with a cat. No, it's deep. Oh no, I killed with it. Yeah, it's button in, but it's dope. Don't kill it, this thing. Look who it is. I did not count on seeing the <laughs> back in the game. No you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they are the only ignorant bullying clod hoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Yeah. It wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teaching to make one, he might be well a while longer. 
I'll make sure and try to make this. Thank you. Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic. But you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Oh, well, it's come up here and says it. You will receive a discount at stores because of your high honour. Heal up. Why are you shut in so far away?
Really bomb now? Held the hand and all, probably. Really? I don't know if you can kill them, I don't know. Oh fuck. You might have killed with two guys and three the husbands, but I've killed the husband as well. Oh well, shit happens on it.
Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use <laughs> what I've got, which is a brain. Are you use what you got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation. I'm still in the bunvot wave. Heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day is over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe My bun. The mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back. Not for a while. Charles, dear boy. John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. <laughs> Alexa. Alexa. Volume three. Shoot people in the ball pieces. You want to get out of the ball constructor? Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board, and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, and I'll nail it. Well, we work so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever, no matter what the weather, we're together. I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. 
So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are yeah, doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Uncle, really getting fresh down here. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a young one. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... So cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fillers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. In the black water. Let's go.
Now, this fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Well, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Wait for me! Let's ride together, all right? You was gonna say... You ain't even got furniture. Oh, you want mushrooms? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I found, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that one. An excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer. And I like you, and David Geddes likes you. But this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? Hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? Kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. I like so. A bunch of money. My debts. I like so. You look for I like so. Is it legal? Stop. Oh, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long.
Soldiering. You was about to say. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Tater. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got a hold of this feller I'd hire. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. here for days. <clears throat> Do your worst to him. <laughs> if he was in here, you'd know. Take a look. Oh, 
Hey! We've come for you! Come calmly and nobody will get hurt! He's in the barn. Go in there and I'll cover the exit. All right. Uh, it'll all be over soon. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rogues. Rogues? It's different there now. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. We'll cross up here. This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Who's this then? Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <laughs> hey, how much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Oh. Yeah, good job. <laughs> No?
They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pass what's old. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to Saint Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mount up. Two dollars and twenty-four cents. I will not no, that's what I've got all together. Uh, no. Alright. That's what I'm saying. See when you got killed. See when you after dies. Where are we going? You know, he said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Uh, John Marston. Sure. You Under the ice. Something else. Being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole oh, no. off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite, oh, so but nice to you, clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay yeah. Him if we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Let's go up. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I wanna die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? 
just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And she. I. How to drive up to that gunsmith character? Hey, look out. There's 
more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut! Oh, now! Where am They keep coming, all right! Might just be. Son of a bitch. Tell me that again. Well, that's that, then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'm you know no clue. Do. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Remember? You do the heavy lifting. Come on! Okay, let's go. Can heat up. Let's get out of here. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. You're a dead man. But the Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. No and we will that. kill you. You. Anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money.
The sheriff better move him quick this time. Big mistake. Real big mistake. We got him, sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. I'm trying to get my smoke. Before. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you when I deliver. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. See you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. Can you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money <laughs> rolled rope. You say so. See you around, partner. Huh? I'm doing all right, eh? That's a uh, 200 mil an hour. Still a real knob. I was making money. And to think? You call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. Thought you too many years behind you Barn. getting money up. Look at this place. Look at that. I can't believe it. When you come Thank back you. up, will you bring that can of air? This calls for a drink. Young Miss at dancing school has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at dancing school has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us have a new one, right? It? Our can is full of a bit out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest friend is packed, the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest friend is packed, the huntsman cheers. As loud as howl when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as howl when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink of our and let us marry thee. On freedom, and it's a fun day. Spend on shore and sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea? We spend on shore and sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us marry thee. Our can is full, let's crank it out, and then our hands to see. <laughs> to me. John, get out here. Uncle's gone. He's 
Fine. Let me Fuck sleep. Me. Get out here now. I get a fat pocket to bite me. That fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Let's go. Collect your stuff. You think we'll watch over it now? I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about it. Are you still online? I should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do. To try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. Don, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. the trees. Come on. Up there, to the right. Two skinners. Look out? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Control to our left. Shh. Hold it. Easy, easy. Let him go. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. <laughs> then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go.
Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. Dragon. Is it uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. I follow. It might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Stay with him. No! He's stopping. What do you see? He's picking up... The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body... We must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. Let's go. I think I see something. Uh huh. Must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. Uh, hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. Yeah. Oh. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on. Oh. Charles. Oh. 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 Behind you. Just in time. God. 
I was trying to take my remedy, I got shot in the face. Here come the rest of them. Quick! There's more.
Right, they're not. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Does it look okay? Easy. Ooh. Ah, I can't hear my back. Uh, Uncle. Uncle. Hey. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. In a few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. You'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Yeah, this is <laughs> early. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners were down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take out torture. Uh, we got Uncle Singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You? Your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. to shovel and show it again. Right, I need to turn this off, just play this in here. Hear me? You hear me? Right, I need to switch this off. Yeah. Right. 